If you're doing sets of five, for example, say you're someone's doing like five sets of five and your first two reps are perfect and your last three reps are a little less than perfect, or let's be honest, by the fifth rep it's shit, right? So three reps are subpar, two reps are good, 60% of your training sucks, Yeah. right? You're training yourself to suck 60% of the time. <laughs> Get the fuck up. Simon says, get the fuck up. Throw your hands in the sky. All right, so this one's for JP. What's one thing you learned from being coached that you probably wouldn't have figured out yourself? That's a good question. Yeah, Anything? Uh, yeah, lots of things, I'm sure. But one thing, kind of like what I just touched on, the volume, just uh, incorporating, making everything singles, just really working that technique over and over and over and over. How you're just, applying the training. Yeah, yeah, just putting it to work, putting, you know, putting everything on paper to work and just seeing it happen real time. Like my technique sucked on everything. I mean, not just my deadlift, my bench. I just was always strong. So just, you know, making it singles. Even when I first started doing fifth set, I would, I would rush my set. I would just try to just start pumping out the reps. But then we had to slow it down and just make it single, single, single. Just always practicing what we do. Just and the payoff, the, the payoff for that is so oh, much. I mean, even in training, like look <clears> at <throat> your video came up the other day from last year. Yeah. And it was like five seventy five for ten or something on yeah. the fifth set. Something. Yeah. Like, it was a hundred pounds less than yeah. you did and we the just same did thing. Six seventy for eleven. So yeah. <laughs> exactly. So probably six. And and, probably been and a lot for cleaner, safer, cleaner. Perfect. Yeah. That's the thing is. Practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Yeah, and that's, that's, training, that's what I took away the most, I'd say, from heaven, is just making it right every single solitary time. When you do that, you get the muscle memory and all that shit carries over the platform, but like you said, those, those cues, just it's natural. It feels, you've done it literally yeah. thousands of yeah. times, so it just, it's just heavier than usual. And a lot of people think I'm being hard on them that I work with, but that's, the, I mean, that is very important. Is yeah. when I'm always, I do a lot of video review with people that I work with online and I'm just saying the same thing again and again. And they're like, oh, am I, is it that bad? And well, you gotta keep, it's a process. You gotta yeah. keep reinforcing this stuff. And it's a, there's a kind of a, a, a procedure, you know? Um, so yeah, I mean, it's as, as one thing falls apart, you know, something else you'll fix and eventually you get everything in line and it's just a matter of kind of maintaining, you know, as something starts to mess up, you get on it again and you use cues to correct those things. And that's, that's the, that's the way you get the biggest carryover. That's how, like, even in training, you put a hundred pounds in a year on the weights that he's working with in training and to go from where they were all over the place to now every single rep is beautiful. You know, and that's, yeah. that's a big thing. Like if you're somebody who does sets of five, I don't care what program you do, everything that I say applies to every program, you know, any, any method of training. If you're doing sets of five, for example, say you're someone's doing like five sets of five and your first two reps are perfect and your last three reps are a little less than perfect, or let's be honest, by the fifth rep it's shit, right? So three reps are subpar, two reps are good. 60% of your training sucks. Yeah. Right? You're training yourself to suck 60% of the time. <laughs> when you're doing volume, this becomes even more important because it's easy to let half of the set turn to shit. Okay, so that's why I absolutely, when people say, when do I cut a fist set? When you can't do a rep correctly anymore, you're done. Yeah. That's it. You know yeah, my last reps look like my first reps. I they, just as they should. And the thing, once you do this long enough, you get to the point where you actually fail because when you failed yeah. on that fist set, that last rep was just like the first one. Yeah. Just, <laughs> it didn't look any different. It wasn't like there was breakdown, you know, progressive breakdown. You build that up. We build up a capacity that's much higher than we're ever going to have a demand for. Yeah. And that allows you to maintain technique through, you know, throughout the course of a max.